I know you've been checking your Rolex watches. And yes. It has come down to that time again. Harold O'Clock. There has been a reply to my video on Harold Balder from a dude called Cody Plucker, claiming that Harold is a good guy and didn't commit a scam with the Italian tourist guide because there are many videos of him giving money to poor Indian men that he didn't sleep with. First off, this seems a strange way to defend a charge. I guess if someone is accused of rape, we can point to a few instances when they didn't rape someone and say it means they're innocent. Strange logic. But I'll address it anyhow. Because this is the main defense people come up with for Harold. He's a good guy because he quote does good unquote. What do they mean by he does good? I guess they're referring to when Harold throws some money at poor people in third world countries and explicitly films it. It's obviously a PR move. This is the same guy who wrote an article telling men in Thailand how to f go go dancers for free on his personal private blog. You think that kind of mentality all of a sudden changes at the age of 40. He'd been traveling to poor countries since he was 18 and never did anything remotely charitable in two whole decades. And not once in his hundreds of Rouge pickup artist forum posts or his numerous personal blog posts and comments did he even one single solitary time mention charity or any concern for the disadvantaged in those countries. He didn't donate a single thing to anyone there. Unless you consider semen a donation. Not one person in any of the numerous poor countries he visited received a single Norwegian krona unless it came with a load of Norwegian yogurt. Norway may be famous for oil but this guy was making it rain white oil on the poor natives faces. But coincidentally all this charity starts at middle age around the age of 40 at the exact same time when he's trying to build a YouTube career. Just a happy coin key dink. I guess. Sure people can change, but most don't. And of course this PR works. Many people have remarked, well, he seems condescending and treats people like zoo animals but I guess it's okay cause he threw a small fraction of his ad revenue made entirely possible by those same people he films at them, so he must be a good guy. I guess people in third world countries should be grateful for a few hundred dollars in exchange for their population being labeled scammers in every second video by Harold. In his mind I guess he thinks it's only fair because they are subhumans and don't deserve any better. He has gone to superhuman lengths to protect his own reputation by deleting entire blogs and even changing his usernames on pickup artist forums before deleting them. A two step security process very percipient of him. But he couldn't give a single fuck about how labeling people scammers and fakes on his videos that are viewed by millions will affect their in their country's own reputations. I guess he applies different standards to different people because as he says on his blog, he believes not all races are equal. And that Asians are intellectually inferior. Notice how he films people without regard in Asia and India. When he did this and was rebuffed in Italy, he said it was evidence that Italians were classy and were normal for not wanting to be filmed. So what does that say about the Asians and Indians who are happy to be filmed? That they are not normal? He obviously has some contempt for them. He is a good actor, so usually he hides it very well, but some of it still occasionally leaks out in his videos. For instance, in a recent video he instantly assumed a Vietnamese woman there was trying to rip him off when she started speaking Vietnamese to an old man. That was literally the only evidence he had that she spoke Vietnamese. He'd met her for only a few minutes and she was a vendor working on the pavement doing an honest job, but he instantly assumed she was dishonest. She had only spoken to him briefly in broken English. It seems strange to want to help people that you think are basically all schemers and liars. Unless you don't really care who it is you're helping and only want to capture some random charity footage to help build your brand. As I mentioned earlier, Harold used to run a blog called haroldbalder.com. He deleted it. Because now that he wants to start a new mainstream YouTube channel, he doesn't want his past writings haunting him anymore. But thanks to the magic of the internet, some things never disappear. I will leave a link to one of his seminal and most infamous writings in the description below. Back at this stage Harold was being a lot more honest. He had no reason to do anything charitable because back then it didn't serve a purpose. In this particular post, 
Harold details the strategy he used to exploit Thai hookers and in his own words, bang them for free. The post was written only a couple of years ago so either he went through some momentous personality metamorphosis at nearly 40 years of age or else this charity thing is a public relations ruse to get people to think he's a good guy and not a dude in Asia banging hookers in his own words. Analysis in the article Harold tells us how Thai girls mainly become pros for money because they are financially desperate. He uses this to exploit them further by sleeping with them without paying for it even though as a wealthy Norwegian, he was relatively well cashed up at the time and even using his excess wealth to buy a condo there as an investment property. But his ego wanted the boost of being able to dupe a poor Thai girl into giving it to him for free. His strategy basically boiled down to investing weeks into visiting these bars where pros hung out. He would cultivate a false image of being a naive, innocent, non-sexual young man. He said he would consciously not compliment the girls on their bodies or make any sexual remarks. He did this to stand out from the other losers and vultures as he called them. Note the disdain he had even at this stage for fellow travelers. He is one of those foreign travelers that thinks he's somehow superior to other travelers and tourists despite visiting the same places and doing the same things. In this case he visits and stays in Pattaya and sleeps with Thai hookers but still looks down on others for doing the same thing. He does this in his current Vietnam videos. He says white backpackers are all miserable. That's a big sweeping statement. I guess if you don't walk around with a big cheesy grin 24-7, then you don't deserve to travel like the mighty Harold. Anyways back to the article. Harold says that after getting his image out there and known, and being recognized by the girls in the bars as someone different to other foreign men, he would then hang around town and wait to bump into one of the girls he deliberately made an impression on. He would be on the lookout for one in the number of girls he was hunting. He advised targeting 7 to 8 girls at a time and said it was impossible to miss bumping into all of them in everyday life because Pattaya was a small town. He said that Thai hoes were easy to spot by tattoos, blonde hair, heels, etc. After recognizing them in civilian life he would ask them on a date. They usually agreed because of the image he had cultivated. He advised not going somewhere fancy but setting yourself apart from the other orbiters, as he called them, by taking her somewhere cheap. He said this resulted in 99% bangs after the first date. So he basically wasted his time and theirs to deprive them of income, all to soothe his enormous ego, to prove he was better than the older so-called loser foreigners there. As an aside, his technique seemed smart from the micro view since he saved a few bucks but he neglected to put a value on time. Analysis. So this insight into Harold's mind is invaluable. This demonstrates how attuned Harold is to human psychology. He understands the mindsets of these girls and he twists it for his own ends. In this case he wants to get them in the sack. In our case he wants us to like him and see him as a good guy because it has an impact on his views and subscribers on his YouTube videos and hence his bottom line. It also shows us he's willing to put in time, a lot of time, to cultivate a false image to dupe others and accomplish a prepared objective. In the case of the Thai girls, he duped them with a false image of him being a naive, gullible, sexless, innocent young dude. In our case, he dupes us with an illusion of a philanthropic altruist who cares about third world suffering. The reality is he couldn't give two Norwegian shits. Conclusion do I think Harold is a bad guy? No, not completely. I think he is nowhere near on the same scale or as much of a deviant or sociopath as bald and morally bankrupt. But I do think he's a ruthless entrepreneur and will do and say anything to increase his bottom line and fatten his wallet. He also doesn't mind hanging out with deviants and exploiters like bald but he doesn't consider himself one. He does some mental gymnastics to convince himself he's always in the right, like how he says he's not deceiving or lying to the girls despite deliberately cultivating an illusion to intentionally trick people into seeing him in a completely different light from his true self. But to be fair, at the end of the day, I don't think the girls he sleeps with regret their interactions with him as with bald, so it's hard for me to hate the guy. Their interactions haven't damaged them as people like the way bald has done to his victims. So with all that being said, do I think his altruism is genuine? Yes I do. About as genuine as his new porcelain teeth.
Harold approves. Anyways what do you guys think? Please feel free to leave your comments and insults in the space below. And thanks to all the new subscribers. We recently broke through the 200 subscriber mark so there seems to be a lot of interest in these videos. The comments section has also been very lively. Matt Brick for example says, what the fuck's the point of these videos? The Roosh v forum was a great place to read and post for many years and by the way Roosh didn't nuke those sections of the forum without warning. John Doe states, I don't understand how people can keep defending bald. I mean this is a person that has thousands of posts on multiple pickup artist forums whose personality was honed over the years toward a single goal. How to pick up women in economically struggling regions of the world, have sex with them, and dump them after. Not only that, but also put in a lot of time in describing it to others on how to do all that as well. All his friendliness, his good deeds, his motivations behind his videos have to be questioned. And finally Charlie Dunn informs us. I mentioned your videos on Baldur's channel, and the petty bastard banned me. LOL. I guess Charlie hasn't heard of Harold's new SJW catchphrase. Harold is very triggered. Harold removes. Harold removes. Harold removes.